roadway system in Slinger is very critical, obviously, to the transportation and uh, needs of the public. Based on our topography, we have a lot of hills and uh, cul-de-sacs, and it's really difficult. Um, we're not a typical village or city that's laid out in a grid pattern. Um, we're cut off by the, either the railroads, uh, Highway uh, Interstate 41, um, or wetland areas. We also have uh, numerous state roads that go through the village, State Highway 60, 175, 144, 164, we have a portion of that. The roads in, in, this, in this school district present a bit of a challenge for us. We have to try to find a sweet spot between uh, making sure that we load up our buses with enough kids to make the bus uh, an efficient route, while also not making the route any longer than is acceptable for us, which is generally about a 50 minute ride is the maximum we'd want any student to be on the bus, on the bus just under an hour. And given the, the far reaching um, borders of our school district, that's a challenge. We have good roads throughout the school district. Our bus drivers have nice, nice routes to drive on. They just tend to be rather long and not that condensed with that many children on them. In our social studies curriculum, uh, we spend quite a bit of time looking at how people have settled in this area. We've noticed some patterns with railroads and roads. Whether it's commuting rates today or in the past, finding ways to move people about. Um, there's some very good stories for students to learn about, about railroad and roads and their influence on the people of the Slinger area. History is important because it gives us a context of who we are and, and where we are right now. How did we get here and why is that important? Right where we're sitting right now was a huge resort complex. There were a hotel, a, hotel, uh, um, a restaurant, a bar, a marina, and then there's a, you'll see pictures of right where we are. When I say thousands of cars, there's thousands of cars here. We're sitting in a place where there were thousands of people gathered on a regular basis. The trains, the railroads are what made this lake the popular place it was. Without that, the, there were no roads, they had to come by horse. Even to get from downtown West Bend to Big Cedar Lake was often an hour-long trip from there to there, which is now a seven-minute ride, ride by car. The railroads arrived in Slinger in 1855. First railroad to pass through Slinger was the La Crosse and Milwaukee Railroad. When the railroads came to Slinger, regardless of which one it was, new services came to the village. Passenger service, express service, more importantly, reliable mail service. Basically, the, the railroads really tamed and settled the community. They were vital for connecting people, moving people, expanding people's abilities to see other parts of the state and the country. And they were vital for commerce because they were, they were in existence before your reliable paved highways were.